I'm Jim Hunsinger, Chief Investment Officer of BOK Financial. I'm here today with my 2020 Economic and Market Outlook video. This first chart is a look at the unemployment rate. It peaked at 10% just after the most recent recession and has dropped all the way down to 3.5% now. It's at historic lows. In fact, the last time we were at 3.5%, the Woodstock Music Festival was underway and Neil Armstrong was taking the first human steps on the moon. This next chart is a look at the job market. This is the number of jobs created by American companies. You can see the volatility around the most recent recession, but since that time, job growth has been very strong and very stable. There are now more jobs than people looking for jobs in the economy. This is the cornerstone of a healthy U.S. economy. This next chart confirms that. Consumer confidence remained very high. Even though there's been a little bit of weakness here late in 2019, you can see it, it's at still very high levels. This next chart is PCE Core, Personal Consumption Expenditures. This is the one the Federal Reserve pays the most attention to as it relates to inflation. You can see down at the bottom of the chart here, it's below 2%. That is their goal, the Federal Reserve's goal, is to have this number at 2%. So they're still trying to work to get inflation to come back into the economy. Slow growth, but also low inflation is giving the central banks here and around the world more chance to move. And finally, key themes for 2020. The U.S. economy, economic news is still pretty modest, but positive. I think 2020 GDP growth will be around 2%. U.S. manufacturing is still feeling the pressure from tariffs. The U.S. consumer is strong and really carrying the growth rate. The Federal Reserve cut rates three times in 2019. They want to pause now, move to the sideline. I don't expect much out of the Federal Reserve in 2020. Internationally, growth has been slow or non-existent. However, there has been modest recent improvement that implies slightly positive growth in 2020. We've yet to stabilize economic growth in Europe. We're looking for evidence of that. Hopefully it comes in 2020. And related to the markets, rates I think will move up higher in 2020, but very gradually and not significantly higher than where they are now. Equities positive, but modest single digit returns for 2020. Finally, impeachment plus trade plus the election equals a volatile environment in 2020. That's the way we're going to start the year and probably finish the year as all of those things are going to continue to haunt us. Thanks for listening.